absolutely I would. I would say that um, Rodney Reed is um, the reason that I actually got involved with the uh, movement to abolish the death penalty. He is uh, a black man from Bastrop, and he was <coughs> having a, an affair with a white woman who was engaged to a white police officer. And um, basically, like I said, he is innocent, and we've been working really hard to prove his innocence. Um, the evidence of his innocence is actually overwhelming, and it was just, it's, it's so convoluted. <laughs> so um, yeah, race definitely plays a factor in this one, absolutely. Um, what else can I tell you about his case? Um, <clears throat> he was convicted on the basis of one piece of DNA, and it was his uh, semen, a semen sample taken from Stacy's body at the scene of the crime. Um, and then also Rodney's court-appointed attorneys neglected to provide witnesses who would testify that Rodney and Stacy were engaged in a sexual relationship at the time of her death. Um, there's been no other evidence in the case connecting Rodney and Sta Rodney to um, Stacy's crime, uh, murder, excuse me. Um, I think I already mentioned that she was engaged to the Giddings police officer, Jimmy Fennell, at the time of her murder. Um, Fennell was known to have a violent temper and was prone to jealousy. Um, and actually, um, uh, a fellow police academy graduate would swear under oath that she heard Fennell say he would strangle his girlfriend with a belt if he ever caught her cheating on him. And Stacy was um, strangled to death with her own belt. Um, <coughs> also, uh, <coughs> Stacy was driving Jimmy Fennell's pickup truck the morning that she was murdered. Um, officials found the truck abandoned. They briefly examined it, for, examined it for fingerprints and other evidence before returning it to Jimmy Fennell. So no crime lab ever analyzed this important piece of evidence, though it was almost certain, certainly used to transport Stacy's body after she was murdered. Um, Jimmy Fennell would promptly sell the truck and then later deny that he had done so. Um, and prosecutors also argued that although only Stacy and Fennell's fingerprints were found in the truck, Rodney was ingenious enough to remove only his fingerprints from the vehicle. Um, and there was also other DNA evidence um, linking a couple of other police officers, David Hall and Bastrop Officer Ed Samella, um, to the crime scene. And three months after the investigation, uh, Samella was, um, he died of an allegedly self-inflicted gunshot wound. So that's just really interesting to me as well. Um, and what year is this? Um, oh, I'm sorry. This was uh, Stacy Sykes was murdered in 1996, and Rodney Reed has been on death row for about 13 years since 1998. So it's a fairly quick conviction. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And um, just a little, a quick update. Um, in October of 2005, the Court of Criminal Appeals sent uh, Rodney Reed's case back to the to the trial to hear. Uh, excuse me, to the trial court to hear new testimony that could exonerate Rodney, and um, currently he's got a federal writ that's pending with the Court of Criminal Appeals. If that is denied, he could receive an execution date as early as the spring. Okay. There are a couple things that popped out um, at me. One, um, I want to talk a little bit about the DNA, but before I just wanted to kind of make a note that uh, you said he was, his, uh, his attorney did not Yeah, yeah, it was very interesting. But then again, like I said, 
said there was um, there was other DNA at the site, um, and and that didn't that was never I guess brought to court either. They didn't they didn't ever talk about the DNA of um, that was on two beer or I think it was was one beer, per beer can. I think it was one beer can because the question was why were two police officers drinking out of the same beer can. Yeah, yeah. Another thing about Stacy's body, um, it was also, it was missing for two hours uh, before it arrived at the medical examiner's office. And when it did show up, it had bruises and burns that weren't present at the scene of the crime. So it was, it was tampered with, just absolutely.